than to walk kids up this walkway and say this is your new home. This is your new family. Laurie Burns on her latest life-saving venture. I cannot wait for the day that we hear laughing inside these homes. This scenic property in Orange County's Tribuco Canyon is now named Vera's Sanctuary, a safe haven for girls who've been sex trafficked. Not only is it love and peace and tranquility and family, but it's also a lot of therapy. Burns was a teen prostitute turned tireless advocate for girls at risk, founder of the Teen Project. I was called in to see the Juvenile Justice Commission. Uh, they work with the judges in Orange County uh, juvenile courts in June or July of last year, and they told me they don't have one bed for a sex traffic kid in Orange County, not one. Over the holidays, volunteers went to work getting five homes ready for the girls to move in. Bob's is donating again. I'm okay. so inspired by your story, and it's so aligned with Bob's outreach. Mm -hmm. We don't want this place to look like a group home. We want it to look like a regular family home. Burns' inspiration comes from the very property itself. This was the Boys Town site. Boys Town is real. Yes, that Boys Town, made famous in this 1938 movie that earned Spencer Tracy an Oscar. I'm Father Flanagan. I saw your brother Joe just a little while ago. Joe wants you to come to Boys Town with me. So I remember the first time I was asked to pick up a foster kid from Boys Town and coming up this hill and just launching into this site was just like, what is this place? But Boys Town closed up shop in California in 2017. An angel investor stepped forward for Burns to get the winning bid. A guy that used to be an orphan donated a million dollars. Vera Sanctuary is named for his mother. Miriam Storch stopped by to visit. She was once in need. I had moved in um, when I had 18 months of sobriety and I had no place to go and I called Lori and she said move in and I just felt safe. She's now a house mom at another teen project property. If you look at the big facility, we have a lot of phenomenal staff coming in and out, but at these places, it will be a forever family, which is what these kids really need. I love her heart. That's great. Yeah, you know, big time donors have come in. Uh, Don Edwards did the paint. Companies like uh, Overstock.com, Living Spaces, the Container Store, and then, of course, the small donors who can donate anything. It helps. Yeah, so uh, so when are these going to be ready? Well, the good news is I talked to Lori tonight. Uh, one home opened last week. That's four girls, mm. safe place to call home. Uh, more homes opening. They're really trying to fast track girls that are in juvenile hall right now. And of course, foster care, that's where my heart is. Um, they have three homes for girls who are emancipated from the system. Well, you so. do so much important work for all those uh, kids, and they do such yeah. great work, for yeah. and, it, and it's a great marriage. So thank yes, you for bringing yes, that story a lot of to us. To the puzzle there. All right.